such a beautiful fall day and I finally get to wear my favorite long sleeve shirt. Anyways, right, so this morning I went to my grandpa's house and I came back and I was about to relax and rest. But now my mom is forcing me to go pick muscadine with her, my aunt, and my uncle, and my dad. So we're about to go pick muscadine. Oh, I'm waiting for my parents, but Daniel can't go because he's working on the car. I'm not sure I was on his car, but he's doing something. And my dad's recording. Are you recording still? Uh, I stopped that. See, he got uh Do you want me to change your YouTube channel name or you want to be the same name? Uh, I know where Watch I come back. So Let's go pick Muscadine first. All right, bye. We're headed to the Muscadine place and my dad is actually driving us. He never drives us around. Normally my mom drives. I don't know why it's so dark. The lighting's a little off. We just got here to, um, it's called Fox Vineyard and Winery. It feels super nice. Why is it so dark? I just gotta stand this way. As you guys can see, it's very nice out here. So this was like a 45 minute drive to come out here. It was super nice out here. They got ant piles everywhere, so I gotta watch where I walk. Is it good? Oh, it's Jew. My dad is having some technical difficulties with his camera. He thought it died. And I looked at it and it was not dead. Oh, look at these butterflies. Oh, so beautiful. But anyways, he thought his camera was dead. And I checked, I turned it on. It was not dead, it was still working, full of battery. And then he was like, oh, I record all this stuff. And I opened and looked at it, and it was nothing recorded <laughs> except for, he recorded a lot at home, I didn't see nothing recorded. So, now he knows how to use it. You guys, I don't think I'm about this life picking fruits and stuff, because I had to touch it, bugs, and then there's fire ants everywhere around here. I'm busy looking around for these fire ants. My parents just walking around. Oh my gosh, I've been seeing, I've been seeing so many butterflies. But anyways, so I've been walking around and just walking and looking at the ground the whole time. My parents just walking around, stepping in fire ant holes or piles. I can eat nothing. There's so many butterflies out here. Anyways, I'm looking for my aunt. And I got this ginormous bag. I'm about to have nothing in here. I told my dad I'd just go pick it at the store instead. Because this is not my type of scene. They're all deep, deep in there. Just my aunt right there. Hey, aunt, are these sweet? Are these ones sweeter? Oh, they got a lot. These look like they're sweeter. Let me get one, taste it, and see how it tastes. Oh, cool. Mm, the store tastes better. My little cousin. There yeah, they're over there somewhere. Are you having fun, Malia? Oh, you got nothing in there. You brought that yourself? Yeah. It's my It is good. Is good? Mm. It's good. It's so chingan. Is it sweet? Yeah. I was just at the farm eating all their fruits. Oh, oh. Oh, the plant. Oh, that's a whole bunch. That's a good bunch right there. How much is it? Um, uh, 120. 120 a pound? 120 a pound. Wow. How much you guys got? None. Come on, I asked my little cousin to report me, but she wouldn't. So let's get some of the bees. Y'all, this is like the most nature thing you'll ever see me do. Oh, man. I just dropped it outside of the basket in the bag. It's probably easier with the basket, but you have to bring your own bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hot. 
And she don't want to help me record. Oh, I'm just getting all the branches and everything. It's sweet. Yummy. Mm-hmm. Matt, show me how much you got in there. Big old bag. That's 10 pounds. This is all I got. This is enough for me and Daniel. You back for Rwanda? Time to go check out. See how much all this costs. Let's go. Bye, let's go. Oh my gosh. How much they got? How much you got? Mm, two more. Four. Four. What's in there? I'm a talk in your pants pocket. There's not even the good ones. This is the place that we went to. And it's $1.20 a pound. I got uh, 9 pounds. My dad got 11 and my mom got 16 pounds. It was like $36 I think it was. So they have lots of good green ones out there. The fruits of my labor, babe. All for you. Really that, oh, thank you. Hey, take it. Fruits of your labor. Taste it. Hey, deal, it's not cold yet. That's good. Mm -hmm. This is called Puddles. <laughs> Scupperdine. And it's better than Muscadine. Muscadine. Scupperdine, right? Oh, something like that. Scupperdine. The green ones. And you want them to be a little bit brown for it to be nice and sweet. Mmm. It's so sweet and juicy. These are my favorite fruits, I think. And you go pick it, it's so much better than buying it at the store. It's cheaper. And you gotta taste it and see how it tastes before you buy it. With a nice little soft and plush. Look at this big one. It's massive. But this one is not that soft. But the color is almost there. Hey, babe. Look, let me show you what he did. He's got to watch football and the antenna thing. Um, we put it behind the TV before and it will be really blurry. So now it's clear. Honey, all the channels are clear? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I make overnight oats for Daniel. So, I'm going to do half a cup. So, I'm making him oats for two days. So, it lasts, oats actually last a while if you make it ahead of time. Half a cup of oats. Okay. And then I do a little splash of maple syrup. You can use whatever sweetener you want. I used to do um, peanut butter, but that's too filling. Or I could do honey, whatever, if you don't like maple syrup. Whatever kind of sweetener you want. That might be too much. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of ground cinnamon. Flashes. You can put whatever you want in your overnight oats. 
여기 약간 해야 아, uh, anything. Oh, shoot. The heck? Why did it spill like that? Anyways, I'm using half a cup of milk. I'm using almond milk. That's blood in here, wrapped it up. Then I'm gonna stir this around really quick, and then we'll add some blueberries. So my sister eats hers with cherries and stuff. I've never had it like that, but she said it's really good. So any kind of fruits you could put. Honey, you want some um, flax seed in it? Chia seeds? You could put chia seeds, whatever. I have chia seeds, so I'm gonna put some in here for him. For some extra, let's just make it extra healthy. Put some chia seeds. Oh shoot, that might be too much. Maybe I should put some extra milk in there because that's gonna absorb a lot. Just put a little bit more milk because chia seed absorbs liquid like crazy too. Because I made chia seed pudding. And it really absorbed all of that milk that I put in there. All right, let's put some blueberries. And then we'll stir it. Actually, I need to stir it and then put blueberries. Because you want the fruit to sit on the top. Especially if, it's, if you're going to not eat it right away. You don't want it to get mixed up in there. Knock all this down and blueberries. And that's all there is to it, guys. Here's Overnight oats. Looks like this. I drove all the way here to drop off some massive loads of food that she made. <laughs> Let me show you. Why are you cooking so much? That's all I got to cook. This is what she made. Some lo mein. What's that? The this has made the world seem a little normal again. It's watching Sunday night football. Yeah, you guys remember last time we watched the When we lived together? Yeah. My siblings just left, so we're gonna call it a night for this vlog. Continue watching probably some more football. Say goodnight, honey. Night. Thanks for putting this antenna up. Now we can watch TV. Free TV again. Don't have to just watch YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Disney, and stuff. But anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.